Always a view, never a Jew, promised one Miami hotel advertisement from the 1930s. The patrician proclaimed, oceanfront luxury at low cost, Gentile clientele. The Normandy Plaza boasted of their informal and congenial atmosphere, catering exclusively to a Gentile clientele. Suffice it to say, Florida wasn't always so sunny towards its Jewish population. Meanwhile, far away on a small farm in war-torn Poland, a young Jewish man was dreaming of the land of opportunity. Alfred Kaskill was 21 when he brought his four siblings to New York City in the 1920s. Settling into the Coney Island neighborhood with his new wife, Doris, Alfred opened a small building supply store. Caskell saved his money until he was able to build his first apartment on Parkside Avenue in Brooklyn. Alfred steadily grew his family's holdings until he owned more than 17,000 units in New York City. At 30 years old, he was a millionaire and one of the most respected builders in the city. Together with the prolific young Jewish architect, Philip Birnbaum, Alfred filled the city with award-winning creations, employing a lean and economical design while inventing novel features such as the rooftop swimming pool. Alfred was a passionate golfer, as were many Jews of his time. But the limited access Alfred and his fellow Jews had to the exclusive courses of the era due to their Jewish identity drove him to the swamplands of West Miami. In the late 1950s, Alfred and Doris purchased 2,400 acres of this inexpensive swampland for about $49,000. They called the place Dorel, a combination of their names, Doris and Alfred. In 1962, the Caskills' dream came true when they opened a hotel and country club that featured three breathtaking golf courses. The Blue Monster, the most difficult and famous of the courses, would go on to host PGA Tour events for years to come. We are live at the Ford Championship at Doral, the traditional first stop of the Southern Swing through Florida. The resort quickly filled with Jewish clientele who were unwelcome in the country clubs, and Alfred cemented his legacy as a builder of not just residential towers, but of luxury, recreation, and beauty. Today, the National Jewish Retreat is honored to bring the story of Alfred and Doris full circle. These grounds once welcomed Jewish immigrants who came to participate in the culture of America's elite because they were spurned by the discriminatory attitudes of that time. Today, on these same grounds, hundreds of proud Jews gather to immerse themselves in and celebrate their own heritage. May the thousands of hours of Torah study and mitzvah performed during this year's National Jewish Retreat bring joy, peace, and pride to the souls of Alfred and Doris, and may their memories be a blessing. Please join me in welcoming Daniel Kaskell, the grandson of Doris and Alfred, to the stage. Daniel will present a special mezuzah to the rabbi and rebbitzin of Chabad of Doral for their Chabad house. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Rabbi Avram and Zelda Brashevitsky, the directors of Chabad of Doral. <laughs> 